What's up everybody? So today we're going to be doing a style that's inspired by everybody. Beyonce and her blow video, Olivia Pope, 70s porn stars, Michelle Obama, everybody. It's basically a full curly style. So let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is put your wig on your mannequin stand and you want to section your hair off in three parts. Two on the sides and one in the back. And you want to put just a little bit of argan oil in there to keep it from drying out and to keep a nice luster and shine and all that good stuff. And then once you have it sectioned off, you want to start in the back. You're going to take horizontal sections and from those sections, you're going to take one inch parting and just curl and let it cool. And you're going to do that till you get to the top of the head. And then I'll tell you how to do the sides because we want to do something, curl it just a little bit differently than normal. So I'm going to let you sit back and rock out to the music because this is pretty much self-explanatory. And I apologize in advance. Um, I know a lot of you girls and guys are going to ask me this question. I do not remember where I got uh, this hair from. I believe it's some kind of Brazilian uh, body wave or natural wave or something like that. So I got it a while ago and I recently found it in my hair closet to put with the uh, the Best Lace Wigs closure that I did a review on a couple videos back. So yeah, I definitely apologize for not remembering where I got my hair from. Um, it was 22 inches, but I cut it to about 16 inches. And um, as you'll see, I'm using a one inch curling iron. Depending on how long your hair is or how short your hair is, you're probably gonna, gonna, you're probably gonna wanna size up to a one and a quarter inch iron if your hair is longer than mine or size down to a half inch uh, curling iron if your hair is, you know, shorter. Now once you're done with the back, you're going to start on your sides and with your curling iron pointing towards your chin, the tip of your curling iron pointing towards your chin, you want to point your curling iron down and wrap your hair away from your face around the curling iron and this is going to create a nice flowy wavy effect. Kind of similar to how Kim Kardashian wears her hair, that type of flick away from her face. This is what's going to make you look sultry and you know, very sexy Kim Kardashian instead of Little Bo Peep. So you just do the same motion, curling it away from your face with the tip of the curling iron pointing downward and you finish both sides and then I will show you how to fluff it and primp it into perfection. After you're done curling all your hair, you're going to sit back and just let it cool for like 5-10 minutes. Um, this is the perfect time to put it on your head and pin it into place and everything. And after it's cooled, you want to just start running your fingers through your hair, just fluffing it and pripping it, trying to get it as big as possible. We want this thing nice and big. So keep finger combing it. And then you're going to flip it over and just start finger combing it, you know, that way. This is going to give you even more volume. And then you want to just, I like to call it zhuzhing. You're going to zhuzh your hands <laughs> at the root of the wig. Um, and just using that friction, it builds 
volume. I'm all about volume. As an added volumizing step, I like to use a little bit of dry shampoo. Now, this is totally optional. You don't have to use dry shampoo, but I love it. It just makes the hair, it gives it so much body. If you're not familiar with dry shampoo, dry shampoo is what some people use on their hair when their scalp is extremely oily. It just soaks up all the oil. And a hidden benefit of using dry shampoo is the incredible volume and body that you get in your hair. So, sometimes when I'm doing styles like this, I just like to douse my hair in dry shampoo and just keep zhuzhing and fluffing it up. And that is, that's pretty much it. I don't use any spritz or anything afterwards because once you let the curls cool, they stay and it's amazing. So, now that you're done... You can go out in the world and be fierce, be fabulous, and slay people with your 70s porn star, Olivia Pope, Beyonce-inspired hair. So, um, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and as always, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can leave them down below, and I will talk to you girls and guys later. Bye!